Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisar Kadam and today we are going to look at how can you connect UiPath Orchestrator with local machine UiPath robot? Exactly. Now this is a question which has been asked from a lot of people recently is because UiPath uh, has launched a new version of Orchestrator and also new version of UiPath Studio overall. So uh, according to 20.10 version, Orchestrator UI has completely changed, but Orchestrator is still the same. So don't worry, it's going to be very easy and very simple. Now, as soon as you open your UI path, you can see the screen, right? And you are worrying about how can I connect my UI path studio with my Orchestrator? Because this is now a mandatory process for you to use your studio. Exactly. Earlier, you do not have to connect Orchestrator in order to use the studio, but now it is mandatory for you to connect the Orchestrator with the studio or at least enter the license key. So now there are a couple of options. So one option is using license key. Another option is manual step. So you can choose either one of them or let's look at it. How can we do it? So first thing we need is we need when you use or when you install UiPath Studio, you also get UiPath Assistant. So let's go ahead and let's open Assistant. Now in the UiPath Assistant, let's click on this one and let's go to preferences. And you can see orchestrator settings, right? So there are there is orchestrator setting where you have orchestrator URL and you have to enter machine key. Now this is similarly like the old way you used to connect orchestrator with machine. Now in order to use your UiPath Studio, very first thing we will do is let us navigate to our orchestrator. So let's go to Chrome and let's navigate to platform.uipath.com, which is also cloud.uipath.com. Now once you navigate to cloud.uipath.com. So mine is automatically logged in is because I was logged in previously. So once you log in, you can see your automation cloud like this. Now I have two orchestrator services is because my license is enterprise license, but for you, you can see the license. If even if you have a trial or community license, it is okay. Now what you do is you simply navigate to your admin, you navigate to your orchestrator and let's wait for orchestrator to load. Perfect. So we are on orchestrator right now. Now in Orchestrator, I have a couple of folders, my workspace default and shared. I have tenant right here. So this is a complete new UI by Orchestrator. Now, as you can see, if I go ahead and if I check robots in my default, there are no robots right now. So I want to create an attended robot. Okay. And I want to connect it with my local machine. So what do I do? So the very first thing I do is I go to tenant. I go to machines and I will create one machine which is a standard machine with the name of the machine. But what is the name of this machine? So name of the machine is, you can get it from UiPath Assistant, Preferences, and copy this machine name. Now, where do you get this? I just told you, open UiPath Assistant, click here, go to Preferences, go to Orchestrator Settings, and copy this machine name. I copy it from here, go back, put here the machine name. Now, which, run, which license you want? So I want one unattended license, I will simply mention here one, you can mention it zero, also, no problem. So I will say provision and my machine name is created. You can copy the machine key also and you can just save it in case. Now, once machine key is, machine is created, let's go to default and let's go to robots. So there is no robot created. The second step is to create a robot. So what is the first step? The first step is to create, so let me delete this. The very first step is to create machine in tenant. And the second thing is to create a robot in folder. So which folder you want? So I prefer default folder as of now. So I will create one uh, robot in default folder. So which robot I'm creating? I'm creating a standard robot which, because we created a standard machine. So I will select a standard machine, which we just created. Give robot a name. So let's, uh, let's say my robot's name is, uh, let's say, cyberpunk or something like that okay and the description you can just mention the description this is my personal robot and the type of robot so you have studio pro studio x studio attended unattended testing non-production so many types of robots and you can you can have the description about what are all these robots about in your part documentation okay and you can also watch the video which i have uploaded previously explaining all these types of robots in the orchestrator series now I will select here unattended robot right now. Now unattended robot needs the credential store and the domain name. Where do I get the domain name? So I will simply open my command prompt, which is CMD. I will type here, who am I? 
and this is my domain name. So I will simply go ahead and I will copy it from my command prompt. Uh, sorry, minimize it, put it here, and the password. So password of machine is entered because you need to enter your password of laptop. And once that is done, you prefer the credential type. I want to store it in Windows credentials. So that's it. You have multiple options such as smart card, ensured key storage, or Luna credential system. I want to keep it in Windows credentials and I will say create. And that's it. So the robot is created. Now, once the robot is created, you can see the environment is empty. So we need to create, the next step is to create the environment. So I created robot and then create an environment in default. So in folder, which I also created in default, okay? So let's navigate to environment. There is no environment right now. I will say this is my personal laptop and I will create environment, okay? And I will select this robot name, which is cyberpunk, which we just created. So you can see all the robots. You can add multiple robots in one environment. You can do that. Why environment you need to define is because one environment can uh, can attach multiple robots. Now, let's say if you're working on any particular project, then you create, you tend to create three environments such as dev environment, UAT environment and production environment. It is just like that. So if you have four licenses, you can connect all these four robots in the production environment and you can run a process on a specific environment because process always runs on environment. It doesn't run on robot. So once you run a process on environment, it automatically runs the process on all the machines which are connected to that specific environment. I selected Cyberpunk robot and I will say update. As soon as I update here in the robots, it will display right here. Now all the steps are done. I simply need to navigate back to tenant. I navigate back to machine and I will copy this machine key. I will navigate back to my UiPath assistant and I will paste my machine key right here. And now once machine key is pasted, I need the orchestrator URL. Now orchestrator URL for my orchestrator, can you see here on the URL of this browser, till this orchestrator slash, I will copy the entire URL and I will simply go ahead in the preferences and I will paste this URL right here. And that's it. I will simply say connect. As soon as I connect, it says connected and licensed. That means my robot is now licensed. Now, as my robot is licensed, let's navigate to assistant. You can see here green symbol. And also you can navigate to the row default robots. And you can see here the robot is now showing you green button. That means it is up and running. That means it is connected with your local machine. And once your robot is connected to the local machine, all you need to do is simply close the UiPath Studio and UiPath Studio will automatically get started and will open. And once it opens, you can see here detected unattended robot as a license type. That means now your UiPath Studio is connected with the orchestrator. If you open any of the uh, any of the workflow, let's say I open this workflow. So you can see I am using enterprise license right now. You can use community license. This is the same process for community also. I will click the click and open the workflow. And here you can see I'm connected to the default folder of the orchestrator, right? And you can see all the objects and packages that you can see in the orchestrator, you can get it right here. So this is how easy it is to connect your studio with the orchestrator with an unattended robot. Now, if I need to check the licenses, I can simply click on tenant. I can go ahead and I can see uh, the licenses right here, click on license. And you can see out of four unattended licenses, one of the licenses being used right now with this machine. Okay, and there is one runtime license and you can see there is it is currently active right now. So simply, similarly, you can go ahead and you can install licenses for Studio, Studio X or attended robot license. And you can see the license key right here. You can manage the license of the automation cloud from automation cloud also. And you can also change the tenant right from here. So you can see all the details of the tenants right here. And if you want to simply run the process, simply navigate back to the default repository, click on the where is, where is, where is, where is, where is, where is, where is automations? Yeah, automation. And then you can simply create a process and you can run the process on the environment. So this is how easy it is to connect UiPath Orchestrator with the local machine. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you to connect your robot with the local machine and happy automation.